And welcome back, guys. We are on page six. Last time we tackled our last water level, I believe. So that is nice to get out of the way. This time we are going into page six, level two. And I said we would use the light blue Yoshi this time. I did not forget. So we will use him. Just checking my phone here. I got an email. All right. Um. Anyways. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do an all melon run for this one either. You know what? I'm gonna try, okay? But I've honestly done this whole playthrough in one sitting now. I swear, I just heard Bowser, like, freak out. Where would I describe that noise from? Like, I guess the one you click and, like, when you pick him in Mario Kart Select screen, like, for Mario Kart 64. I thought I heard that noise in the background. You can rewind a bit to see that. Like, it was right when I was jumping over the, the Black Shy Guys thing. You know what? Screw it. I just want to do that shot. See if I can get both of them. Can I, um... Can I, uh... Y you see, I want to get in that pipe. I, I want to get in the pipe. You're being... You're, you're being as, almost as bad as the bees. Okay. Anything but the bees, man. Bees are the worst. Ever since I had to try and get by them on the N64 controller, that would not cooperate. See... This is weird, because it's supposed to be like a thwomp type mechanic, but thwomps usually drop when you're about this close. For some reason, you have to get like right below it. At least on the other side, I did. So it's not exactly like thwomp. Let's hope we don't run into too many of those guys, because they're a bit of a pain. Another mechanic that's not used too often, a key door. I believe that's only in some castle levels. Can we, uh, I believe we can, yeah. Now that we're not in an N64 controller. Because this is on the Wii now, by the way. You know, I'm not going to do all Melon Run, but I'm going to try and sequence up some fruit. To get times two multipliers and whatnot. So, um... Uh, what do I think I'm going to see next? Bana apples. Let's go. Let's get some times twos. Do I dare grab the bananas? Oh, there's more grapes up here. I could have done times three. That's okay. Let's stick with apples for a bit. Until we see that melon over there, of course. Oh, oh, that's... okay. What is up here? Shoot, I'm trying to... I'm trying to... nope. Like, like... nope, nope. Okay, now this is being as bad as the N64 controller. Oh, we don't even need to do that anymore. Okay, let's get some melons for a bit, I guess. These things, uh, these are actually used. It's a mechanic used in, I think, World 1... 1-3. One, World 1-3. That's where those are used. We'll see that in the start of the next playthrough, next video, which will be then tomorrow for you guys, if you're watching it on the day. Which will actually probably be re tomorrow for me, recording-wise. I don't know, I might do one later today. Did that, did that seriously come back? Uh, I'm alright with this if that came back, or is that just another one? It's a bit cheap, but... You know, there might be two. Doesn't matter much. Oh, I gotta use this guy to my advantage a bit. He just, he just bounce off them in case you didn't notice. Okay, I can't... Gotta be a bit lower there. Oh! Why did you drop so much, Yoshi? Yeah, okay, you got a bit of a hang time there. Well, whatever. Oh, which do I want to go? Let's go through here. Let's go with the classic Mario pipes. Make sure my screensaver doesn't go on there. Mechanic umbrella. This is used in another level, so there is one. Let go of A, you start falling. Hold A, you... Oh. I thought I lost an umbrella there. Shoot, I don't, oh, I don't need to get one of those hard things. I was going to say there is one there, though. Oh, no, no, let's not fall too much. Nope, nope. Okay, apparently if you... Oh, no, 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 no. Classic. Classic. Hit down by accident. Do a ground pound. Just like that. Um, so we've got our good old friend, Mr. Cloud, here. Trying to prevent us from going down the pipe. There we go. Screw you, Mr. Cloud. Let's, uh, go after some apples for a bit. Oh, this guy again. 
Can I just, uh, no. Let's see if I, I don't think you can run under it. No. Ah, whatever. Friggin' Shaggy, man. Okay, now I was able to do this easily enough. I'm not sure when the turning point is. You know how the GameCube has its, like, little pivot points you can place a control stick in? I thought I was just placing mine in the bottom left one, but that does, it runs upward, so... It's, like, bit between... It must be more beneficial to not have the little indents and in the control stick. Oh, 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 let's not get hit by that there. You know what, our grapes. Just run above that guy. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. Oh, let's not get knocked off by that. Ah, yikes. Almost there. I love the way they walk through these doors. Watch this. Oh, when they're coming back. <laughs> They walk so funny. Oh, there's this guy again. So he was used more than once. I believe they're using the castle levels a few times. I think when I was back in world, um, 1, 3, or, no, not 1, 3, what am I talking about? There was, uh, 3, 2, world 3, 2. I mentioned that those guys might be in the castle levels, so I think I'm right in that regard. Well, let's, um, is there anything up here? Nope, nope, yep, let's stop, yes, okay. So now that door back at the start, we can go back to, and we can actually take another crack at this, um, free fall. Hopefully without pressing down on the control stick. And so we grab the umbrella, and we fall. And we stay to the left this time, because we did not go to the left last time. Not as much anyways. Oh, 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 let's uh, stay to the left, like I was saying. And let's not get hit by the. Oh. As I was saying, nope, let's um, do a bit better than last time, or not. Oh, we got one more. So, um, it's that cloud's not being the bane of my existence again. Alrighty, so, we gotta run into our old friend, Mr. Black Shy Guy, who's gonna guaranteed hit us. Classic. Let's go through here. Get our happy theme music. Not theme music, but, you know. Do I want to grab the apple? I do want to grab the apple. Whoa, okay, so yeah, if they're a bit higher up, obviously they're gonna be easier to dodge. Also, there's some hang time for them carrying it up. That guy's not as high. And there's wind. Oh, boy. He's got a times two there. I don't even... Wait. Uh... Okay, while he's going up and while the cloud's not moving. Oh, no! That was close. Okay. Oh, yikes. That was close. Uh, we're gonna want to jump across first. Cloud, I swear to God, if you knock me off that ledge. Ah, oh, I missed it. That's fine. We're, we're after apples, right? Oh no, we aren't. We were after melons. Huh? Okay, let's run. No. Onward and forward, not backwards. Okay. I think it's the first like watermelon I've grabbed. I guess it wouldn't be the first this playthrough. I think I grabbed some on that fish level. Probably on some other random levels too, I guess. Yeah, no, it just it seems like I haven't grabbed a lot. I was actually wondering, it's kinda off topic, but if anyone wants to keep a stat tracker, this is mostly me thinking yesterday, for the amount of times I die in either each playthrough or um just the whole like Let's play in general. Speaking of death. Oh, oh, oh. There would also be interesting to have a counter for the amount of near death experiences. That would be a stat I'd like to see. Jeez. I haven't died since. Which level was that I died on last? It's been a pretty good run, actually. 
what level did I die on last? Well, I think... Yes, that was on the lava level. Okay. I'm just kind of grabbing whatever now, guys. We got the, these weird dudes again. I guess this is a mechanic that was implemented more than just in that world. Gotta get the melons. Where's the melon? There's the melon. Okay. In Soviet Russia, melons eat you. That would not be pleasant. I don't even know how that would work unless someone like sliced open the melon first. I want to grab the melon, but man, oh man, why did I just not eat some fruit? There's a lot of melons here. Screw it. Let's fight Baby Bowser in his second difficulty, because he is more difficult per level in World 6. What have we here? Mario's little pet. I have pets too. Let's all play together. Play nice, you wimpy pets. I hate guests who throw bombs at my ceiling. You mean your ceiling of spikes? I think you might have more issues than just the bombs there, buddy. Let's uh, grab the invincibility from the super happy tree. Let's get the bomb and let it let us throw it at the roof. That is an egg, but that's okay too. I did not realize those were. Oh, we have a bomb behind us. Surprised that did not hurt us. And let's get ready to throw it at him. Oh, jeez. Count that up as a near-death experience. Do not think that one through. Jeez. Okay, let us throw at the wall. The roof. I'm sorry, what killed him? I'd actually like to know. Okay. Dang it. Oh! Thank you, Babombs! Okay, let's grab invincibility. Because we're cheap. Oh, hey, well, you can get them with the explosions from the eggs. <laughs> oh, that's priceless. I don't even think I threw a bomb at him. The freaking bombs are just trailing off all my eggs. And they hit him. That's a pretty interesting way to win, for sure. And I hit him with an egg. That's, you see, you see, I use the invincibility, but I um, beat him in an interesting way, so it's, it's, it's okay. I'll give you back your super stupid tree. Besides, its fruits taste rotten to me. That's okay, and this time we have all our Yoshis intact, so it is indeed a very happy ending. Although there is no actually, there's no actual different ending this time. Fifteen hundred melons. Well, not that many, but score-wise, I think that's fifteen. Yoshi's, oh, so you do get the score for many Yoshi's you have. I wonder if that's just for part six. I haven't actually paid attention. Coins only get you a point per coin. Yeah, that's not that much. Enemies, same thing. Fruit is ten points for, per fruit. Hearts, I don't remember. I, I'm surprised I haven't actually looked at that yet. Probably the 3,600. Wait, what am I thinking? Why would we have that much when I didn't do an all-melon run? Okay, 20,796. Score to beat. Okay, let, it, let us enter my name, and I'm going to specify the year again, because I believe the last time I played this is probably like, well, I probably did it once in a couple, last couple years, but it was probably like 2010 or 11. Okay. I do that in a lot of my games lately. I'll label the year just so I know when I did that. So, um, let's read the full story, I guess, because we did not do that last time. Makes me wonder if we should do it this time. But we got our happy music again. I actually like this song. It, I like this. It's a good reflection time. The story had barely started. To find happiness, the Yoshis needed to hurry. Blue monsters tried to slow them down, but the Yoshis kept moving. Now the Yoshis were, were a little closer to finding the super happy tree. As the page turned, an ocean of boiling hot lava bubbled out. If the Yoshis didn't cross, they would never find the super happy tree. 
large and lava were scary. The Yoshis bra bravely fought their way through. While using while losing one Yoshi, I might add, although he cheated death and came back to life, so you know, it works out in the end. The Yoshi saw a tall tower. Maybe they could see a happy ending from there. Seems like a legit plan. After a tough climb, the Yoshis found Inviso waiting for them at the top. With a closer look, they beat the invisible ghosts and saw a castle far away. I'm just gonna say, if I could have a storybook, like, show to kids that had freaking, like, sort of like my kids one day, that had, like, freaking moving things like that, like, the shy guys flying around and piranha plants, that'd be sick. The jungle lake was swimming with hungry fish called blurps. The blurps should swim and jump, but mostly, like, eat and eat. As I said before, no kidding. The Yoshis didn't want to become fish bait. So they quickly swam away. Yeah, if I could have like a storybook of freaking moving prawns and things all over the place, I think that would be pretty scary but for kids, but... The deep, wide ocean would not be an easy swim, but the Yoshis dove in. For the first time in their lives, the Yoshis swam to the ocean floor. Again, I might add, we did it once before. I've probably done it several hundred times in my life. After reaching the shore, the Yoshis found their story coming to a close. Yeah, but uh, if you had a bunch of moving things like that in the storybook, I'm sure it'd get wrecked pretty easily. Holy crap. After a long journey, the Yoshis found the castle at the end of the book. And the author of the story was none other than the old baby Bowser. That old baby Bowser, that is. But without shedding a tear, the Yoshis chased Cry Baby Bowser away. The day was won, and, the Bows and Bowser fell. You mean Baby Bowser? The super happy tree was well. There's a rhyme for you. Straight up Dr. Seuss here. Yoshis were happy as could be, the heroes danced before the tree. And the Yoshis lived happily ever after. Still, I still think Black Yoshi and White Shaga should be part of that party. That's not very nice. Although I didn't rescue him this time, I'm not sure. I think he's only in two levels in this game or something like that. I can't remember. I'll have to look these things up before next playthroughs. Because I would like to have him for my next ones. Just, just to, you know, have him. Say I did. Oh, uh, so credits. So, um, I was thinking. I've done this all in two days now, I think. Playthrough one was yesterday, and playthrough two has been today. So for me, it's been two days. Um, I've kind of had an upload schedule so far, like, at this point in time I only have three on YouTube, but I think, um, I'll start doing two a day, because they are shorter, and ideally, later, I would like to have, like, 20 minutes a day for one video, but since these are, like, more like 10 minutes, I think it's okay, because 20, 25 is what I'll be going for when I'm doing, like, Wind Waker or something, so... I think that's what you'll see, and you won't be seeing this video for a few days, obviously. And I'll have to upload some, and there'll be a time where I won't be for four days or so when I'm at the lake. And that's what a lot of the summer will be. So I'll try and um, do something special before I go, or something like that. Maybe a live stream, or just upload a bit more that day. Or what I could do is I could upload them to YouTube and then make them public at the lake because I can do that from there at least and then they'll be uploaded that day so we'll, we'll see anyways I think I'm doing two videos a day though okay so my old records are pretty much the same as what they were on the N64 honestly I don't think I did like all melon runs that's probably why I did that in um time trials and stuff for fun but I don't think I ever did it throughout the story Anyways, that is it for playthrough two. Um, stay tuned, and we will do playthrough three soon enough. If you're watching this, uh, it will be the next day, likely. Thanks for watching, guys, and thanks for all your support and everything. You know, share if you want, like, whatever. All helps. Thanks for watching.